Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the AWS shared responsibility and security model. This video is produced by Cloud Yeti. Cloud Yeti uh, is a company based in the Washington DC metro area and provides consulting and training services on cloud computing and DevOps. You can contact Cloud Yeti by visiting the links here. My name is Saurav Sharma and I will be the presenter for this video. I'm six times AWS certified cloud engineer. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and on GitHub by following the link here. So let's talk about the AWS shared responsibility slash security model. The shared responsibility and security model defines and guides who is responsible for what on the AWS cloud. Once again, who is responsible for what? And in this case, who is either one of AWS or the customer? So what is AWS responsible for? And what is the user responsible for? Security and compliance responsibilities are shared between AWS and the customer. It's not like one of them has to do all of the work and one of them is responsible for all the things happening in the cloud. Uh, that's not how it works. And the shared responsibility model is one of the fundamental concepts that you need to know while using the AWS cloud. So let's look at this a bit deeper. If you look at this diagram, this diagram can be found by visiting this link, which I'll be providing in the description below. And this page not only gives you the diagram, but also an overview of what the shared responsibility model is. And I have included the shared security model because I've seen in many places that this model is also called shared security model sometimes. So let's look at this diagram. At the bottom, you see this orange section where it says AWS responsibility for security of the cloud security of the cloud. What does this mean? This means that AWS is responsible for setting up the regions, the availability zones, edge locations, hardware, um, and global infrastructure, setting up compute, storage, database, networking services, and also software that powers these services. And on the top, the blue section says customer and the customer is responsible for security in the cloud. The customer is responsible for things like client side data encryption and data integrity authentication, server side encryption, networking traffic protection encryption. Customers are also responsible for patching the operating system and maintaining the operating system and setting up network and firewall configuration. So these could be NACLs or security groups. Also, the customers are responsible for the platform, applications, and identity and access management. Customers are responsible for protecting the data. So let's look at AWS's responsibility, which is security of the cloud. AWS is responsible for protecting the infrastructure that runs all the services offered in the AWS cloud. This infrastructure is composed of the hardware, software, networking, and facilities that run AWS cloud services. So the data center where your servers live, you know, there is physical security, right? There is CCTV cameras, there is walls protecting, uh, you know, from people from coming in. And there's all kinds of mechanism protecting, you know, unwanted people to coming into the data center. So these things are taken care of by AWS, right? And this is what shown here, regions and zones and edge locations, you know, all these things, AWS does it for you. So you don't have to go and buy, you know, physical hardware and set things up from scratch. AWS does it. AWS takes care of, you know, getting those things and protecting the data center, um, setting up the wiring properly, uh, and also setting up the services like compute, storage, database, networking, and the APIs for those services. And also there's softwares for those services that AWS maintains and patches and you know fixes and uh, takes care of. And AWS manages more than 
1800 security controls so that you don't have to focus on those things right and we talked about this they take care of things like the physical security of the data center you know cctv cameras and uh, you know interference uh, by uh, bad actors so that they don't steal the data and so on the customer's responsibility is once again security in the cloud so when you start using the cloud you are responsible for some of the things like who you give access to when i open an aws account i can create users right i can create users and i'm responsible for creating users and giving access to those users so aws does not do that for me i'm also responsible for encrypting the data and making sure that i'm making the data uh, private for example in my s3 bucket you know if i leave my data public then anyone on the internet can access that data and there has been many instances and many news where i hear that you know data is leaked and sometimes uh, the data leak is because the s3 bucket has public permissions right anyone can see the contents of the s3 bucket a quick example is this uh, uh, news article right here uh, you know inside the largest US voter data leak and there was a big data leak where 198 million American voters data was le left exposed to the internet by a firm and it turns out that the s3 bucket did not have any uh, data protection so basically the objects on the s3 bucket were public so things like this happen when users of services on AWS are not aware of the shared responsibility model and, and what they need to uh, protect themselves. So as you can see, you know, data protection is customer's responsibility, uh, identity and access management, you know, who you give access to uh, is customer's responsibility, patching up operating systems, installing antivirus, that's customer's responsibility, security groups and NACLs, customer's responsibility, and so on and so on. So let's look at this example. For Amazon EC2 instances, let's see who does what, right? AWS is responsible for the global infrastructure and setting up physical machines and virtualization and physical security of the machines and networking. AWS is responsible for the API endpoints that you can use to work with the EC2 service. AWS is also responsible for uh, providing you the networking and storage services that go with EC2. But the customer is responsible for managing who has access to the EC2 instance, you know, setting a password for your EC2 instances, uh, patching the operating system that you're using, you know, setting up security groups uh, and NACLs on VPC, protecting the data by encrypting the data on EC2 instances, you know, setting up IAM permissions to let users work with EC2, and also making sure that, you know, the EC2 instances are available and, and you know, performing well by using services like auto-scaling. So this gives you an idea of you know who does what on the AWS cloud. Now there are some shared controls, right? Controls which apply to both the infrastructure layer and customer layer, but in completely separate context or perspective. For example, patch management, right? AWS is responsible for patching and fixing flaws within the infrastructure, right? They do their part in patching problems in the infrastructure but the customers are responsible for patching the guest operating system and applications. And finally, AWS trains their employees. They train their employees to do things like, you know, don't steal data from the data center. And a customer on, the, uh, on their side need to train their employee to do things like, you know, encrypt data on your S3 bucket, make your S3 bucket private, make your objects private on S3 bucket, and so on. So there are some shared controls that uh, both uh, AWS and the customers have to do on their side. So let's look at a couple of scenarios. You know, who decommissions old hard disk when you know it's not being used anymore? AWS does that, right? Because they take care of all the physical things on the cloud. So customers don't need to worry about decommissioning and destroying hard disk. And this is a great example of the shared responsibility model because you know the customer does not need to care about this and AWS does it for you. Who controls access to the AWS account, right? Under the shared responsibility model, the AWS customer is responsible for 
giving access to other users on their account. Uh, AWS, uh, they give you a root uh, user access and after that, you are the one uh, you know, giving access to other people on your account. You can visit the shared responsibility model page that we looked at earlier by visiting this link. Once again, I'll be posting this link in the description below. With that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This video is produced by Cloud Yeti. We provide AWS and DevOps training and consulting. We have courses on Udemy and other videos on YouTube that you can watch. We'll be providing some links in the description. Uh, please provide some feedback if you have any feedback. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.